Hi everyone, I'm Naimi Kanani and welcome to my channel. I'll be unboxing my first art box on this channel and I'm excited because I'm, I helped create this box with Upcrate and I decided to talk in this video because there is a lot I want to talk about. This box is currently available on the Upcrate website so I'm just going to start unboxing this. I don't have a script right now so I'm just going to talk what I want to talk I guess so yeah I might be I'm not sure what I'm going to say <laughs> oh there's two boxes okay. so the box comes like this So Upcrate is like a art subscription box. So they send every month and they send every month if you subscribe to their subscription box. A while back, they asked me if they wanted to collaborate with me. Yeah, we discussed what we wanted to put in the box. So I'm just going to open this right now. This, when you open this is right here you're getting closer thank you for having you on board mate and this is what it looks like in the box there's three paint brushes they're from turner in japanese it says that please uh wash with water as quickly as possible uh, some of the kanji i can't read <laughs> i forgot what it says but i believe it says like it's not really for acrylic so if you're using acrylic stuff that you have to wash it really quickly okay so here is all the supplies i'm trying to think which i should open first i'm just gonna open this one first i guess uh, rip. these are the main um star i guess for the art box it's acryl acrylic Gloss, acryl gloss by Turner. The first time I tried this paint, I really liked how smooth the paint applies on paper. The reason I chose these colors is it's like you know, like printers, ink, inkjet printers, I guess, um, or any ink. Uh, printer they use very saturated pink um, blue and yellow the, these colors to print colors and so while when you mix these with black and white and you can create all kind of colors that you want and I, I requested that the white paint to be large because I use white so a lot so <laughs> so I'm very thankful for that this is my favorite mechanical pencil it's by Pentel it's the orange pen mechanical pencil and the lead is 0 0.2 millimeters I'm just going to show my the pink one I have, I've had this one for years. The first one broke, so I reordered it, and yeah, it the the label disappears <laughs> when I keep putting in the um, when I keep using it and putting in the pencil case. But yeah, this is the mechanical pencil that I've been using for ever for all my sketches and what's cool about this pencil is that it doesn't break it has like this little metal thing 
in the end so that the lead is there a lead <laughs> so i don't know if you can see but it's like really thin and this tube thing helps hold the pencil so it doesn't break at all i recommend only putting three to four leads in here so you don't break the inside and if you notice that the lead is stuck you can unscrew this and yeah it has like this little thing you can like take out the lead from here if you notice that it's stuck and if you have a hard time taking it out you can use this little metal thing to squeeze all the lead out so i can't find the lead case right now but uh, i use this 0.2 millimeter pencil lead it's hb i don't recommend b because you can smudge the paper easily hb i feel like it's like the perfect hardness for sketching and especially for paint because you don't want to make smudges too much oh yeah and because it's so thin you can even if you put paint on it's it creates very thin lines so you don't create too much black smudges you know people ask a lot of people ask me like oh how do you not um create smudges on your paint like the black smudges it's i believe it's because of this mechanical pencil this is ink ball pen from pilot pilot yeah this is not waterproof but i really love how thin and precise the ink is you can write as well i like writing with this so yeah i asked them i asked upgrade if i could put this in and i also requested to put a sponge and a pipette or eyedropper this is more like an extra when painting with gouache gouache acrylic gouache this acrylic gouache any gouache i guess dries really fast so i like to use these type of um pipe eyedroppers to be more so i can control the water much better because using the brush to add water it you can add paint from the previous time you used and you can't you, you can't get accurate colors the paint dries really fast so i like to constantly add water to my paint and because i because these dry really fast i only put out small amounts like small drops yeah i always want to keep my paints wet but i don't want to add too much as well because it can spread the paint and make it i don't know how to say it but the consistency will be off and when you paint it's gonna be very hard to control and what i why i wanted to put add a sponge is just to have more different approach in painting when when i was little my mom would give me like a sponge and then like we would like paint with it so just to add more texture to your paint because i feel like just people are used to just using paintbrush but i like to add texture to my paint so i just wanted everyone to try as well also i'm gonna say right now so i don't forget um when i was in art college i noticed that a lot of my peers they just leave their paintbrush in their water at, when they're painting. I highly recommend you don't do that because it makes your paintbrush spread easier and you want to keep the shape. I have it ready right now, but I have two cups of water, one for washing your brush and the other for another deep cleaning because you 
you don't want paint to stay in your brush especially right at here because you can damage much quicker yeah i was shocked when everyone just leave their paintbrush in the water because i was taught since i was little like to never put the brush inside the water while you paint so you just just get a clean towel towel and just leave it and also when you're leaving your brush don't leave it up like facing upward because the brush can like spread easier like this so you just leave it on the table with on the paper towel and just like leave. So now I'm going to look through the magazine. Oh, oh wait, I need to... <laughs> this, this is the paper that's included. There's three. I believe it's from Stain... Oh, I'll just leave it somewhere, but um, let's just open... <laughs> let's just open the magazine because I forgot the description. But there's also a sticker set. Yeah, I created I created the logo design. It has like texture on the sticker. I'm really happy about that. Let's just leave the magazine later for now. But so you can see this the poster it says upgrade mystery box. This. I was worried that this kind of looks like a wine bottle, but I guess it looks okay. <laughs> this this is more of a surprise. They, I only sent them my artwork and they designed it the um, the whole poster and everything else. So I was really happy that they made like an Alice in Wonderland kind of theme. A tea party theme and this is the artwork that i used i used these to create this artwork of adelis yeah i i this is my character i i created this when i was for my senior thesis project in art college and i just love my character so we decided to use my character to for this art box. And yeah, so my information here too. And I have the art piece right here. So yeah, this is the art print and this is my real artwork. It's just going to show if you look closely, some of I use the sponge for some textures. I also want to share this other trick. I have this toothbrush and I dab it on white paint and I test it on the paper first, but I I just brush it over the toothbrush and create this these textures. I really love creating these textures. It's like this kind of like a dust dust particles. Uh, let's go through the magazine. I was really happy when they sent me the PDF version of this magazine. It looks really cool. They this it's this thick this art artwork. Um this was supposed to I, I drew this for the cover for my art book for my senior project but I decided that it doesn't look as great so I'm happy that they used this as a cover <laughs> um, because it looks, it, it looks really cool as a magazine cover so I'm glad that I didn't I drew this It's going to open this is the table of contents the art book, I don't sell them anymore. So I guess, I guess if you want a different kind of version of the art book, this is a good alternative, I, how to say it. Yeah, Upcrate is a German company, I believe. This right here, Mice 
Yeah, most of the artworks I drew when I was in college. So they used my artwork for some of the pages. And they write descriptions for each of the art supplies in the box. Yeah, I really like how they created the theme. So, so yeah, Turner is a Japanese company from Osaka. And here's some of the chart. I believe the paint they have. So if you like the paint that's right here, maybe you can try some of the other colors they have. They have description of how to use gouache. Pilot pen, ink jet. Yeah, so the ink is 0 0.4 millimeters. Pencil pen. Yeah, so here they describe how to use it and how it works. Okay, here, St. Cuthbert's Mill. That's the water color paper. Uh, it's 300 GM. I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> they, it's, I really like hot pressed paper because they're really smooth. Um, I believe a lot of people really like cold press, but it's really hard to draw details when you're create painting, especially um, smaller paper. So I really wanted hot press and I really like to go in detail anyways. I believe, yeah, it says it's 100% cotton. That's important when you're painting watercolor and stuff. So it absorbs the paint better. Here's the eyedropper and sponge. I was kind of worried that when people <laughs> receive this, they're like, what is this? But there's a reason <laughs> that I chose. So I I guess, yeah, it explains here. Artist statement. And that's me. I was surprised. It's like, ah, oh, it's so big. But yeah. <laughs> uh, some information about me. And like an interview. Use the desk. Woo. Right now, I'm currently living in like a rent apartment. So our house is not finished yet. So I'm permit not temporary living here. <laughs> so this is not my final desk setup, I guess. I'm excited for the new house. Some more interview questions. More about Adelis Adventure. This is the book cover that I used for the art book. And some more drawings. It's similar as from the art book. Some strange creatures. Upgrade apparently has um, a contest every uh, subscription box and they have a theme that everyone needs to follow to enter and they wanted to use my drawings so it can give inspiration for everyone who wanted to join some more concept art from my Adelis art book video, I mentioned that I wanted to make it look like a concept art book because I really love Alice Madness Returns um, concept art book. It's my first book that I purchased and I really fell in love with the creepiness because I'm really, I get scared easily. So watching YouTubers play Let's Plays for horror games. It really helped me look into horror um, genre. And I find a lot of inspiration from that. 
some more instructions of each of the art supplies and step by step for my painting. Some more tips. Um, if you go to Upgrade's YouTube channel, they have I um, gave my edit of um, the speed paint of this painting. So if you want to see that, you can go there too. I believe this is some other artists that use the art box and kind of explaining how they used it for their art piece. And they created a color chart that you can create for the paints that's included. I also want to mention when you create colors with these and you want to desaturate a color, I recommend using complementary colors to um, create a dark, um, a desaturated color because you can tell if by my paint that I really like to use dark colors I instead of just using black I recommend using complementary colors so just look at a color chart and if you're um, desaturating a red then um, use a green color to make it less saturated that's my trick for choosing colors yeah and always have like a small um, paper next to you when you paint so you can test the colors first and here are some of the previous art box challenge i believe uh, and here's the list of inspiration that i got from when creating adelis so yeah, I see right here, I, Alice Madness Returns and some of the games that inspire me. And some artwork, art pieces, digital, paint, paint, and yes, here. This is a um, pattern that I created in Photoshop and Illustrator for the art book and I sent them so they can use it for this. I really like this pattern. It looks really cute. <laughs> and here I have this paint tray thing. <laughs> um, it's it's in the storage for now. Oh yeah, and I guess this is for the battle. I believe the battle is over i don't know how it works i yeah you can check it out i guess <laughs> so that's it for here so i'm going to i want to create an art piece with you guys so whenever i think create an artwork i i like to draw on my ipad sometimes it it depends on what I feel. I like to sketch in my sketchbook. Sometimes I like sketching in my sketchbook. Some ideas. Some like here. And some here. Like these are some ideas that I for Sweets Garden theme, I, I want to go back and create some for later. Sometimes these drawings are inspiring for drawing, but for right now, I found it easier to draw on my iPad. So sometimes I switch back to sketchbook or sometimes I go back to Procreate to sketch some ideas. 
here are some of the sketches I made. I really like Procreate's page assist feature, so it, it acts like a sketchbook. I really into fairy tale kind of feeling. Yeah, recently I've been interested in analog horror stuff. Like I just watch YouTubers watch some videos about it and I really like the religious like horror kind of thing. <laughs> um, so some of like the angels, I like creating like these eyes, like creepy eyes. <laughs> So I get some of the inspiration there. Yeah, you wouldn't think that I would like watching horror, but from the horror stuff I draw, but I get scared easily. So <laughs> it's more like a comfort. It's from my childhood because I used to cry a lot, even just like a small, like, like whenever my dad plays Mario and Mario dies, I get scared. <laughs> I like cry. And I couldn't watch Harry Potter and like Pirates of the Caribbean. So it, these kind of creepiness, it reminds me of when I was little and I get scared easily. So I think, I believe that's like a comfort for me. So I like creating like these a little bit creepy, but not too creepy stuff. And I really love cute and pink. So I like to mix them together. I got, it got down to this drawing and this drawing. I really like these two ideas. So I did like a little cleanup right here. And I've been really loving like those old medieval kind of drawings. So I get some of the inspirations there, or paintings I mean. And I just made some color um, tests. Let's see if I could show. Yeah, so here. I'm testing some colors and I decided to just do all black. Yeah, so I'm going to draw this and start painting. I wanted to share this spray bottle I have. This is a mini spray bottle that I got from Daiso. I use it to wet the paints and yeah, I like it because it only sprays small amounts, so I recommend getting a small spray bottle if you can. Like I previously said about having a piece of paper to test on, I use the paint to swatch some colors that I'm going to use for the painting. And I also wrote down some notes that for the colors that I mixed. Um, because there's no green, I use the blue and yellow, but I use more of the blue. And I wanted to talk about how these paints, like gouache paints, um, they tend to, uh, for lighter tones, they tend to dry darker. And darker tones always dry lighter. When I applied such as, such as like these, darker paints it was darker when I painted it and then when it dried it became lighter and um, lighter paints like this they turned um, darker so I highly recommend swatching your paints before you apply and if you want like a brown color mix the blue um, either pink or red and yellow just mix all the color and it becomes like this muddy color like this so that's i used that and the red to make it make like a blood blood like color right here and what i like about gouache and this and these gouache ex especially is because it's acrylic acryl gouache um it kind of acts like uh acrylic when it dries so you can't reactivate with water gouache paints you can reactivate um, if you apply water but for this one you can apply like acrylic paint so if you just wait if you apply paint and wait for a bit you can paint over so i personally like 
drawing with layers and because I have like a painterly style I like to layer and apply more details so if I'm painting roses I put the base and if you're because gouache is more thick if you want a clean base in the start if you want like a nice flat color you can mix media by using watercolor first that's what i that's what i like to do when i paint i use watercolor first and put the base color and then i mix gouache and start painting over that's another technique you can do so yeah that's what i just wanted to say first drawing very roughly with my orange mechanical pencil i don't mind leaving marks because i can paint over with the acrylic gouache paint I painted the background black first so it's easier to choose colors. I decided to keep the hair color white and gray so I used the pilot pen knowing that the ink is not waterproof. I used that to my advantage to create the dark parts of the hair. Using the sponge, I added some gold-like sparkles around the frames. Here's the amount of water I add using the eyedropper. Using the toothbrush, I added some dust particles. If you use drier paint, you can also make textures using your brush. Here's the final painting. Thank you for watching the video. Reminder that the upgrade box is only available for a limited time. I added the link in the description. See you in the next video.